Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a Sunday sermon. Each week, we try to bring you a message of faith and love. And today, we're going to bring you a true brother in God, the Reverend Billy Graham. I remember hearing his words, and you'll get to hear them once again today. So, Reverend, if you're ready, I think I am as well. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Yes, as Barry said, I am a true servant of God. I've been that through many lifetimes, and I intend to continue in his service. There is no finer thing than to serve God. When you do that, you find true happiness. God is love. When you serve God, you serve love. What could be better than that? You are helping people when you serve God. Not only do you help yourself, because your soul will find an incredible judgment when it returns, but you are serving others. What could be better? You see, that's what God wants. He wants you to tell others about him. When you serve God, you have the most incredible faith. You know that God truly exists, that heaven exists. You know many things that others do not know. You feel things deep in your heart that you don't never realized you could feel. When you serve God, you have this incredible energy that goes through your body, goes through your soul, goes through every inch of your being. Because you see, now you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Serving God is the greatest thing that you can ever, ever imagine or ever do. Now, there are many people that don't even believe in God. It's hard for me to believe, but they don't have faith. They don't know that the greatest the greatest energy that will ever enter their lives is standing behind them and they're not asking them to come forward. That is so sad. You see, we pray for all those individuals that don't believe in God. We still do that over here. Just because we're not in your plane does not mean we do not pray. You see, I have access to God. He sent me back. He told me what he wanted of me, and I tried to follow his wishes. I did the best I could. But you see, I was human. There were many things I did that I should not have done. Just the same as you, when you look back in your life, I'm sure you see things you should not have done either. You see, humans are frail. Their motivations are frail. Oh, there may be, may be many of you out there that say, I've got the greatest willpower ever. I can succeed. I can do all that I want. I don't have to listen to the laws. I don't have to follow any of the gospels. I don't have to follow any of the words of God because I am wonderful. I am great. My ego has taken over my body. But you see, your time of reckoning will come as well. You will die. We all do. I did. God wanted to show me a lesson I needed to learn before I passed. So I had a grave illness. It took me many years. And many people would say, why would God ever allow a man that has served him so well to die of such a terrible disease as Parkinson's? It takes so long. The suffering is so great. Well, you see, God wants everyone to know that everyone is equal. Even though I served him to the best of my ability, I am equal with every other person that ever walks the earth and that ever will. It is this great equality that brings us together. Think of God as what he truly is. He's your father. Yes, you have a father and mother that brought you into this earth. 
But you have a holy father. You have this incredible energy that is in heaven that acts as father for all of you. You may not even realize it. The father in heaven has all of these assistants. He has many souls that have served him greatly through the years. You saw those souls live human lives when he walked the earth. He brought them back with him. He brought back Peter, Paul, Mary Magdalene, all the incredible souls that you hear about in the Gospels. That was no accident. All of those souls had served him many, many times in the past and will serve him many times in the future and are currently serving him as I speak. You see, God is everywhere. Everything you look at is a miracle of God. From the simplest hummingbird to the great mountains, those are all his creations. He has done all this so that those of you that want to learn can understand his true miracles. Many of you, well, not you that are listening, we're very proud of all you that tune in every week and listen and pass on the messages and words that we try to bring to you. But there are those out there that pay no attention. They think that their lives are the most important things. They think that they are the most important things. They squander money where they could be helping others. They are failing the greatest test. They think they're passing the greatest test by earning great wealth, but many of them are failing. Now, there are individuals out there of great wealth that are doing unbelievable things. They're opening schools. They're doing things to help the young. You see, the young is the key. You hear that very often in Barry's messages as well. It is only through the young that humans can advance. The young must be given knowledge. They are inundated with information. Social media inundates them. They can't get their noses out of their cell phones. They see information. But they are rarely ever given true knowledge. When you listen to the messages that Barry brings you, he's bringing true knowledge. Because he's speaking of God, and only God is the road to knowledge. God has created so many things the humans cannot comprehend. God's created heaven. It's a dimension that's incomprehensible. The abilities of the human soul in heaven are almost unlimited. If you've served God and you're in one of the upper levels, then you have an amazing adventure ahead of you when you pass. If you speak against God, then not so much. Your soul is going to a lower level. Not one of truly evil, I hope, because there is a place where you want no part of. It is a lower level where truly evil are sent, the Hitlers. There are people living today that are going to be sent there. They're the ones that are instigating these great wars that are having innocent people killed. They're doing it for personal power, and they will find that they will have no power when they return. They will be put in this place where evil people are put to protect those souls from returning and helping and hurting others in the future. They don't understand that. Their egos have taken over. Their free will has taken over. But there are many people out there that can be saved. They they can be, shall we say, reprogrammed to follow God. Many people have been turned off by many things that take place in the name of God. Many religions have simply become businesses. Many religions have taught fear. You see, Jesus never spoke of fear. He always spoke of love. 
But the Charlie Church decided that it needed people to fear God, not love him. If they feared him, they would rely on the sacraments of the church, and they would give money to the church, and the church could do what they wanted with that money. And often, what they did with that money was a sin in itself. The church even took it upon themselves to reinterpret Jesus' words. They complicated it so that you would have to rely upon their translations of God's words and those words of Jesus. There are many, many things that have led humans away from God, and sometimes it was the churches. It's very sad, but it's a fact. If you're not following the very, very simple words of God, then you're not doing all that you could be doing. Live a good life. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Use common sense. Do not do anything that you understand is wrong. When you hurt someone, you are doing what is wrong. It's that simple. Don't hurt people. When you show anger and hatred, you're doing something that is wrong. Those individuals are probably going to show anger and hatred back, and you're not going to like it. Why do you do something that brings you unhappiness? You're not going to find unhappiness serving God. The simplicity of his words make it so simple. Just do what is right. You see, when I spoke to the magnitudes, when I spoke to many, many people, and yes, I brought many people to God, but there were times that I spoke of things that were not correct. I did not have the knowledge to define heaven to all those to which I spoke. I relied upon what the gospel foundations told me. I read much. I studied much. But much of what I studied was not correct. It had been changed by the various churches. And sadly, I felt that it was correct. So there were times that I, I guess you could say misled those that listened to me, but it was on totally unintentional. My only desire in life was to lead people to God. I did it the best I could do. I did it until my final breath. How many of you will be able to say that you tried to lead people to God until you could breathe no longer? You see, that's the kind of dedication that it takes. There are people that are truly dedicated. You're listening to one right now. He's speaking my words. Many of you don't believe it. Many of you cannot comprehend the fact that God would send somebody back that could speak not only his words, but those of all that have served him in the past. God is love. God is all knowledge. God is information transferred to knowledge. There is nobody out there that understands everything. God does not want it that way. He wants you to have to continue to learn. If you are a human, by definition, you don't know much. Oh, I thought I knew a lot. But when I returned, I found out how little I truly knew. When you return, you will find out how little you know. That's a fact. The best that you can do is to go forth and try to lead people to understand the love of God. That's all you need to do. Live a good life. Don't hurt others. Support the children. Bring them education. Educate them to the knowledge of God. Don't educate them towards the fallacy that God does not exist. If you do that, You will be creating problems not only for that child, but for yourself. 
I want you to know how much I enjoy having the opportunity to speak once again. I wish, I wish that I could do this every week, but I know Barry would tire of that, and I'm sure you would as well. I wish that everyone out there would speak of God. Speak of heaven. Don't be afraid. They threw stones at Jesus when he spoke the truth. Don't be afraid to speak the truth. There will be people in frustration that will lead you to frustration. There were people that frustrated me. You can trust me on that. So I thank you for having the patience today to listen to my words. I hope that I might be able to lead people, that I can still lead. There'll be a time I return, and there'll be a time that I truly serve God once more. But in the meantime, this is the best that I can do, and it's pretty good. So tell others of our words. Speak the words. Do not fear. I know God is listening. He always is, and he blesses all of you. So simply live a good life and trust God. Thank you, and goodbye. Billy, you haven't lost it. So thank you so much, and yes, I will have you back. Have no fear. So all of you, please try to lead people to God. It's the best thing that all of us can do. So thank you for listening. We'll be back again next week. Not sure who's going to be here, but it, I'm sure it'll be dynamic as today. Goodbye. God bless all of you. Mm -hmm.